Hello everyone. We are the students of third year Electronics Communication and Engineering branch and are pursuing our B.Tech from Bharti Vidya Peets College of Engineering, which is affiliated to Guru Gobind Singh Indipas University, New Delhi. This video is a part of Texas Analog Design Contest 2014 and it demonstrates the working of wireless solar power transmission. Our main motto is to transmit solar power through wireless techniques. The wireless transmission is implemented using IR transmitter and receiver. The receiver used in this model is TSOP1556. We have used a solar panel to harness solar energy for its transmission. This panel generates output voltage of 11.35 volts approximately. Now this voltage is fed to a voltage regulator circuit through a diode 1N4007. This regulator circuit is designed using IC LM317 which is adjusted to give an output voltage of 10 volts. This adjustment is done using two resistors R1 and R2 of 100 ohm and 700 ohm respectively. The output of the solar panel is given as the input to the LM317 IC at the third pin. And the first pin of the IC which acts as the adjustable pin is, is connected to R2. The output is obtained from the second pin of the IC. This regulated output is then supplied to the transmitter circuit. The transmitter configuration is implemented using a triple five timer running in a stable mode. Pins 8 and 4 of the triple five timers, which are the supply pins and reset pins respectively, are connected to the power supply. The resistors R1 and R2 of 1 kilo ohm and 9 kilo ohm are connected to adjust the frequency of transmitter. The capacitor C1 of 0.002 microfarad is used to set the frequency of triple five timer to 55.7 kHz. A resistor of 100 ohm acts as a bypass resistor. The output from the third pin, which is a square wave of 1.7 volts peak to peak, is given to an IR transmitter, which transmits the IR rays in the frequency of 55.7 kHz. The receiver ICTSOP1556 is designed to detect the infrared rays transmitted up to the frequency 56 kHz. Here, a battery is used to supply power to the receiver IC and a transistor BC547. The receiver works in an active low configuration. It gives low output when infrared rays are detected and gives high output when they are absent. For this reason, we have used BC547 transistors of NPN configuration to invert the output coming from the receiver. We have used a 1 kilo ohm resistor to give supply to this transistor. To show this wireless transmission, we have used a light emitting diode which receives the output of this transistor and glows when the solar power transmission takes place. As you can clearly see, on giving hindrance to the transmission path, the LED glows off and on removing it, it glows again. Also you can notice that the transmission is affected when the alignment between trans transmitter and receiver is disturbed. So the LED is now in off state and on aligning it becomes on again. One important advantage of this model is its transmission range which is approximately of 10 meters which makes it an efficient technique of wireless transmission. Also the cost effective mode of wireless transmission makes it a better alternative. We hope we have clearly demonstrated the technique behind wireless solar power transmission. We thank our mentor, Mrs. Keerthi Gupta, who guided us throughout this project and encouraged to complete it successfully. We wholeheartedly thank our head of department, Dr. Anuradha Basu, and college management team for providing us with all the requirements and helping us in all the ways possible. Thank you.